up guys storm outdoors um today we're gonna be doing a um bullhead video i'm gonna be um it's i'm gonna guess it's kind of like catfish and um we're gonna give it a whirl go catch it and um we're gonna cook it up and um if you like this sick hat um i got it from gamo so go to gamo's website gamousa.com and get one of these sick hats i'll i'll leave the link in the description they are sick hats um they're they're pretty pretty sweet hats all camel they're pretty sweet so go check them out um thanks camel for that hat and um hope you guys like this episode uh stay tuned what's up guys storm outdoors back with another episode today we're gonna be doing a bullhead catch and cook and um stay tuned for the video if you guys want to check out this hat at gamousa.com they hooked me up with this hat, and um, let's get right into this video, guys, and um, do what you guys wanted me to do. Stay tuned. All right, guys, walking out to the dock. <clears throat> Sorry if this is going to be terrible footage. I don't know if it is. Using my rod. Got a lose with a hook and worm. Sorry if you guys can't see this. It's really mosquito- we're just going to be using a pile of worms, so let's get ready to Let's get set up. All right, guys, we got a, we got a hook tied off with a split shot, so let's cast it out there. And once again, sorry if it's bad lighting. All right, guys, cast it out there. Just cast it out there, and I'm just going to set it down on this thing right there and go by the campfire and wait for it to get tight tension. And uh, we're going to catch you when we get a bullhead. I'll let you know. Sitting by the fire, boys, waiting for waiting for it to go off. So keep you posted when it happens. All right, guys, we're going to go Whoosh. check it. We've waited about 15 minutes. So now we're going to go check the rods. We usually catch quite a bit out here. So we should have good luck on it. I had to set my other rod down because it had a little perch on it and I lost the worm. So... First rod right here, we're gonna check. Oh, good tech. Got one, got one, got one. Oh, fire. There it is. Oh, oh. Mongo. Sick. Perfect. We'll leave this one flop around for a while. Sick, we got dinner, that's a good one. All right, now let's go with this one over here. See, here's the, here's the perch I caught earlier. You gotta throw that one back. All right, let's go check this one. Here's another one. Slide. Oh, tangent. Got one. Yep. There's another one. Look at that. Look at that. Two. Two for the dinner plate. All right, boys. Let's get these bad boys cooked up. We'll see you inside. Showing you what we're gonna do to cook these things up. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we were, we just we just set this one back out and we had it screaming. Oh, yep. Look at this fighter. Oh, might actually be a big one. Yeah, look at that. Another giant. Man, we're really catching these things now. Give you guys a good look at what these things look like. Here's a look at them. They're just big, chunky. They're like a catfish, basically. Let's go get this one hooked. We'll we'll um, get it nice and passed on, and um, we'll flay it up on the dinner plate. Catch you on the next fish. All right, guys, so here's one of those bullheads that I caught tonight for uh, my catch and cook. So we're going to be flaying this. Um, never flayed one of these kinds before. They have spikes on them, and he's keeping his spikes out, so we might have to... Buzz those off pretty quick. See how he's still flopping around. All right, so now you're gonna lift the dorsal fin, and I'm gonna find where right, right after his fin, push down right there, and you ride his back. Fresh piece of meat like that. Flip it over. I'm gonna take the excess ribs off of it. So, 
Now I'm going to ride down the edge. Oh. Cut that off. And then take that piece of skin right there. Poke it in there. Just like that. Quick and easy. One. Beautiful filet. Done. Ready for the frying pan. Let's get on to the next side. Same thing, right behind the dorsal fin. Push down. Now you're gonna hook it and ride right down the back. Beautiful piece of meat. These I've heard about catfish, and these are t like a breed of catfish, kind of. There we go, just like that. Take the fin, got it all down the back. Just like that. Now, now we have two perfect fillets ready for me to go cook right on the frying pan. So stay tuned for when I cook them. All right guys, these are seasonings I'm gonna be using for bullhead today. I'm gonna be using Lowry's. Um, this is kind of like a crushed up garlic pepper. Some crushed up garlic. Pepper, salt, and a hint of lemon. And I'm going to be using Tasty as my um, kind of like um, sautéing it on the top. So let's get into cooking this. Okay, so we're just going to throw this on the frying pan here. And we're going to put a little bit of some cooking spray on there. Plenty enough. Get the other flay on there. No. Start getting the seasonings all dialed up on there. All right, guys, got all the ingredients on here. Now we gotta turn the burner on. We're turning it on kind of medium high. We're gonna let this stuff cook. I'm, my mouth's already watering, so uh, stay tuned, guys, when I pound this food. There's the butter melting into it, guys. It's getting pretty good now. I gotta flip sides on it. I gotta flip the sides on. Oh, look at that. Just like chicken almost, but better. I looked this up online to make sure I wasn't going to die. And um, they say it's tasty, so I'm going to give this a shot. Add a little more pepper to this side, and we'll see you guys when I start eating this fish. What's up, guys? I'm back. It's all ready to go. Got it all nice and ready to go, and we're going to full send this and get this done. We're going to eat this. Um, caught it out of fresh out of Portage Lake. First taste with the tasty. That's really good. I, I taste walleye all the time, but this is actually really good. It tastes exactly like walleye. Lots of people are like booing me and saying that it's disgusting and that I shouldn't do it, but I looked online and it said it's good and this tastes very good. So let's keep devouring this stuff. And if you guys haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. We can grow our channel. And I've been thinking lately about starting a, starting some merch. I don't know yet. I've been getting lots of text messages from companies and they've been telling me to if they if they if I can work with them. So if you guys want me to, tell me and maybe I can start some new things. Oh, this is stuff good. All right, guys, clean the plate. That, was, that stuff was phenomenal. So I recommend you guys doing this. I hope you liked today's video. Please like and subscribe. Share it to all your friends and family. And have fun in the outdoors.